Over 70 million people are now chronically sleep deprived. Sleeping pill sales now total $4.5 billion annually, yet people still suffer from insomnia. To take 250 milligrams of Benadryl is not good. And you know, that's, it's sad that I, <laughs> I went that far, Even, you know, my granddaughter. And I couldn't get out of bed. I wasn't sleeping, but my body wouldn't go. And the more I didn't sleep, the more the body wouldn't the go. The stress that was coming through across the entire entire environment was affecting me both uh, as far as my deep quality of sleep and the anxiety stress level I had as far as just staying in a very mellow calm place and being able to react to things at that point. One of the biggest concerns that we have recently are clients coming in complaining about their sleep medications. They're prescribed what's called sedative hypnotics uh, that uh, usually fall under the heading of Ambien, Lunesta or Restoril. And what they're telling us is that they just don't work as well as they did uh, when they initially took them. Usually after about two weeks worth of use, they're realizing that it's not producing the same quality of sleep that it did before. So usually after about five or six sessions, we'll contact their doctor, uh, let them know they're doing the training, and ask the doctor to help with uh, a taper off program. Usually after about 15 or 20 sessions, uh, they're able to get off the medication completely and they're still sleeping very well. We start with placing two sensors on the scalp. These act as very sensitive microphones that listen in on the faint electrical activity that's happening inside the brain itself. No electricity ever enters the brain. The software then performs a Google-like search on the entire brain and identifies where the brain has misalignments or wobble. The software then feeds its information back to the brain through little skips and scratches in headphone music. The human brain is so self-intelligent that it goes right to work rebalancing its own brainwave activity. Um, I think prior to seeing you in your program, um, I had interrupted sleep patterns, and and you have straightened that out. You know, you've straightened that out, and, and the more we are involved with your program, the more that my sleep pattern becomes more stabilized. So it becomes a non non event. It just here's eight hours, boom, it's done. It's perfect. I'm in REM for a certain amount of time. Done. It's done. Sleep recovery training, I think, covers a great, a, a broad spectrum of um, healing symptoms like brain fog or chemo brain, whatever they call it, in that you can um, just concentrate more and be more effective and more aware of everything that's going on around you. Sure, I mean, it's painless. Uh doesn't take much time and once you go through a series of treatments you don't have to continue forever you know you can lay off for a while how long have I gone in between a year yeah so that's better than not taking pills it was really around that, that anxiety and sort of allowing my I know, my body and mind to just sort of know open up and let go and, and rest but I'm so confident and I'm so happy and I'm so excited that I can go to sleep by you know with this program it's non-invasive and it's amazing I mean I could start crying about it because it's so meaningful to be able to go to sleep see you're changing lives which is really powerful you're helping people out in their daily activity. And being able to have their daily activity, you know, be more rich and fulfilled throughout the day because of what you do, which is really exciting.